Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We are in Madrid for SAP's Sapphire event and with me I have Jeremiah Stone. Jeremiah, you are on the sustainability team. What is your role there? Uh, so I'm a senior director for solutions management and what that means uh, in SAP is that I'm responsible for the business cases for producing our products, so developing new products and then uh, I work with our key customers as well in making sure that our products continue to meet their needs and uh, that we do quite a bit of co-innovation with customers and that's my team that, that tends to drive that as well uh, with our strategic customers and so really managing uh, the business case and then the build and execution and rollout of, of products. So there's a business case for sustainability? <laughs> well, at SAP there sure is. Um, it, it's an interesting aspect, I think, of our sustainability case that people typically are surprised by is that every single one of our investments is actually a bottom-up business case, just like any other piece of software um, at SAP, where you have to build the customer business case first. So really, what is the customer's tangible pain? How much are they spending to deal with that pain today? What are their alternatives? Um, how much can we generate in terms of value for the customer? Uh, with, with some development and then is there a reasonable value capture for us? In other words, can we charge the customer a reasonable amount of money to justify us investing in the software? And so we do that for every investment that we make and so that also helps the conversation of course from a uh, business point of view because then you know, we've done all that work up front. We can go to the customer we can explain the customer business case that we've developed and we can validate that then from them to make sure that there is a return on their investment and that they can treat it just like any other IT investment. And uh, at the other thing, uh, you know, with sustainability at SAP is it's embedded into our business. And so when I am competing for development resources, I'm competing right next to the guys who are developing for HANA, uh, the people that are developing for HR, people for financials, uh, CRM, etc. And so we really are treated just as um, any line of business at SAP. We don't give preferential treatment, etc. And it really is based upon business case uh, for uh, each investment that we make. Interesting. Cool. And where is the hot Where's the hot button topic for people right now in sustainability? That's a good question. Um, I think right now we see uh, you know, phasing of a development of the market. Uh, it continues to be really around uh, management of risk and compliance, uh, primarily in the safety of operations. So, uh, and that goes really, there's asset intensive and asset non-intensive industries. So I have customers in transportation and logistics, major airlines, looking at how they can be safe. Um, and that, that is a bottom line number for them. Uh, obviously, if they're damaging aircraft or whatever, they, they, they're not going to be uh, performing well, and so that, that's really a safety. Or from a compliance point of view, uh, that's access to markets. So as um, public and governmental toleration of ecotoxicity, uh, of hazardous materials, etc., is declining because there's more and more transparency, um, around uh, you know products and their constituent uh, chemicals etc and substances the, the regulatory bound and burden is going up in, on companies to declare the substances in their products um, so that they can sell them in those markets that's the primary driver still we definitely see uh, energy management um, is the fastest growing area and that's really energy and environmental resource management it's not just energy but you can think of really sort of all of the inputs into the business uh, whether that's uh, energy um, or other resources and in that way it's very much a, you could think of it as a traditional SAP um, strength if you think of around uh, energy although it is a different um, challenge as you know because there's the utility as well right, involved in that and that, that's somewhat complex that, that's definitely demand for that uh, is, is probably the fastest growing it's not the biggest business yet but it is the fastest growing and then we continue to see um, a smaller market but still increasing around uh, analytics reporting strategy management, setting targets, managing to those, and then reporting out to, I don't know, the global reporting initiative, et cetera, on uh, sustainability performance. Uh, but probably the majority of where we're, we're making our money today with, with our product lines is really around that risk management and uh, compliance um, activities. Okay, and important. the whole sustainability area is, is, is a relatively new business area. Is, is it one that you see is going to be growing big time? Is it, I mean, it, we've seen a jump in the, in the last couple of years just because, you know, companies started getting into it but you know is, is, is it on, on a hockey stick or is it kind of plateaued or whereabouts is it well yeah I mean it's very rapidly growing uh, market uh, we see the overall market size growing a compound annual growth rate of around 18 to 20 percent uh, so that's a pretty significant growth in the current spending environment uh, a lot of that's because of loss control so if, if you think of the the current global environment access to credit isn't as available um, you know stability of financial markets people aren't interested in making uh, capital investments if they can't ensure that that capital investment will be safe so in an ironic way um, you know it really is that sort of resource constraint or fear of loss that's driving sustainability as well for many investments 
management. So it isn't necessarily a, uh, you know, there's a joke, you know, people only spend money on software for, uh, you know, greed, uh, fear, or aspiration. Most people assume it's aspirational in nature when people make uh, sustainability investments because you want to halo or in, in improve your brand image, which yeah. there is some of that. Um, but most of our customers, it, it's really around the loss management. Um, and to a certain extent, the um, you know the ambition to grow your brand, grow your business. Uh, we, we do have customers um, like Solvay, uh, for example, uh, who I, I think you may have gotten to talk to them while you're here. I've seen them this afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so I mean they, they you know really say that they're more competitive um, as a result of the investments that they make in sustainability. So we do see it growing. Um, it is an evolution of some older lines of business. In this case, environment, health, and safety management has been there for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and you know we we invested in purchase technical data as a that's strategic to us yep. um, a couple of years ago, but we're uh, on, a, on a pretty furious clip to double uh, the, the pre-acquisition uh, revenue um, it, relatively soon. So it is a fast-growing market. We're having a lot of success with it, um, and, and you know we believe that it will continue to be a strategic, fast-growing market as well. Fantastic. Thanks for being here, Jeremy. It's been great. Thanks for having me, Tom.